Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Ford Classic and welcome to Pen Chart. So today we have in here Twin Mirror, a game developed by Don't Nod Entertainment and it is using Unreal Engine 4. Don't Nod are well known for being responsible for games like the Life is Strange series, but not only that, they did develop recently, tell me why. All of these type of games including Twin Mirror are the same kind of games, you know, storytelling games. But they also did develop back in the past different types of games, like for example Remember Me and also the most recent one Vampire, which was also very interesting. But we are here today to check on performance on the MX130 and my recommended settings for you to use it is 720p using median settings. So looking to the requirements over here, they don't ask anything special, so for the minimums they do rec they do require a Fanon X4 or a Core i3, 4 gigs of RAM, and an AMD Radeon HD 7790 or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750. So pretty old uh, GPUs as well as very weak GPUs. So nothing special in the requirements. So this is nothing new. Most of their storytelling uh, requirements are quite... Um, you know, accessible. So looking to these results, all I can say is that at 720p, whatever, if you go with median or low, you can expect an experience above 30 frames per second. As if you go with 720p high settings, you can start to notice some dips under 30 frames per second. So that's why I decided to go with median settings, despite there are some nice visual changes from median to high. 900p I decided to try it out at uh, median settings and unfortunately it suffered from the same issues at 720p high settings. It just starts to drop. So that's, I mean, if you want a perfect 30 frames per second experience, uh, I would recommend you to go with median settings, 720p, and that's exactly what I have done. So performance wise, it's... It's easy to run, and since this is a storytelling game, and a game which don't have any action, despite there is more interactivity in this game than the others, still, I think 30 frames per second, it is more than enough for this game. So, that's it about performance, but I mean, what about the game? So what can I say about Twin Mirror? I'm just going to talk based on community reviews and critics and also based on two hours I have played of the game. Since the game it is developed by Don't Nod, you know the type of experience that you can expect from this game. Something like Life is Strange or the most recent titles like Tell Me Why. So it's the same type of gameplay. You just talk to the characters, make decisions and the decisions will somewhat affect your playthrough or the ending. But the thing is, this game and its story, according to the community, it isn't really compelling. Especially the main character, they say that uh, it isn't really interesting and the backstory resembles a sheep TV show. Cheap. There are some new elements into this game which are quite nice, like running away uh, of uh, a trash in a control-ish environment from a guy trying to avoid obstacles subway surfer style. And also we got new elements uh, from Sherlock Holmes games where we collect pieces of evidences and then we need to pull all the stuff together in the correct order so we can advance. It's nothing new at all, other games have done this, but it's still nice to see more and more stuff being added to the Don't Not games aside from just see the story and make decisions. You can expect this game to be completed in about 6 hours. And as for the story, the description page of the game kinda sums it up quite well, so I would just read what's written in there. Sam Higgs was done with Basswood, West Virginia, but it seems it wasn't done with him. When the former investigative journalist returns to his hometown to say a final farewell to his best friend, it soon becomes clear that there are more chapters to be written in its troubled story. Forced to confront his past, Sam finds himself torn between uh, reconnecting with his loved ones and using his unique intellectual abilities to uncover the town's dark secrets. But how do you know who to trust when you sure when you are not even sure you can trust yourself? Yeah, that's a big problem there, trusting yourself in this game. 
The, the award-winning storytelling at Don't Not invites you on another twisting adventure. Well, community, it is not really satisfied with your story, so yeah. Technically wise, this game is very well optimized, as you could saw, any recent GPU included uh, Intel integrated graphic cards can run the game, and like usual, they don't really push the graphics and display the typical Life is Strange 2 or Tell Me Why graphics, so facial animations are mostly the same as the other previous games as well. On Metacritic, the game's score it is 67 from 0 to 100s, on 40 reviews by the critics, but the user score it is even worse. So it is 5.5 .5 on average score from 0 to 10. So community it isn't really satisfied with this game. The game it is also an epic store exclusive by the time of this video and costs about 29.99. So it's not expensive, but given the score that the game have it is also not very cheap, so if I would guess, I would say that this game will appear on a sale probably more sooner than we expect, or probably on Xbox Game Pass, who knows. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Twin Mirror, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. What do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just. People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, 
Please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone.